So um, I think we can all bet that Black Panther suit will be really popular in Halloween, but um, wasn't always a goal to reach, making a Black Panther a point of reference of the black community, or was something that came out during the process? Can you repeat that question? Yeah, the thing is, now Black Panther, I think, is such a huge symbol in the superhero movies for the black community. It was the real point in the beginning, or in the middle, you could see all the process were leading to it. Hmm. I think we were just trying to make a superhero film. Like, truthfully, uh, you know, in, in terms of making it simple, uh, I, 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 that's that's not part of what's in my head. I think it is. It, so it uh, came naturally. Yeah, I think I think it just comes naturally. I think you, 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 you know that you're doing something. If you're doing a superhero, and it's done well, there are gonna be little kids that 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 want to to be the superhero. There'll be adults that want to be this. Will, will want to be the superhero. Um, I think the idea of it being assembled is something that you know. There's a disconnect there for me. Like, like I, I don't understand it. Um, so I don't. Th I think it comes with it. You know, it's it's not something that you're you're really thinking of. Mm -hmm. In a very short time, your character Black Panther has become an angry piece of the MCU. What's the role that Black Panther will play in Phase Four? Can't answer that. You can't. No, like you know, we can't. Tell you anything that's gonna happen next. Yeah. I have to try. It's my job. So. Yeah, you, but you looking at me like, <laughs> why can't you answer it? Like, <laughs> like you know, I can't answer it. So, um, the speech uh, that uh, was in the United in United Nations at the end of the movie looks like Nelson Mandela himself. It was some kind of inspiration that you took for that, or was completely coincidence. Mm. Uh. I, it's funny that you say it, that it looks like Nelson Mandela because, you know, I, 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 so, yeah. I no, no, I, I, I felt like it's him, you know, um, trying to be like his father, you know, it's just natural that he's seen his father speaking in, 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 in a public setting in this way, mm -hmm. um, in front of other world leaders in this way. In fact, you see it at, in, in Civil War. Um, and so, to me, yeah, yeah. to me, the the person that he's actually looking to is his father, or for me, John Connie. And um, I did, in fact, listen to speeches um, during the week when I knew I had to do that speech. Uh, so I did listen to Mandela's speeches, but oh. but 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 Mandela's doesn't sound like that. Like oh, his, yeah, his, it was his, just an impression his, about his his voice. It's like it's not a Mandela impression, um, and and I, I don't think it's necessarily the way he gives speeches because I also listen to to Malcolm X speeches, Martin Luther King speeches, President Obama speaking. You know, um, just trying to get a sense of what it, it's like to be a world leader and and, and talk to uh, people in that way. But it's my father, actually. Yeah. So, okay, it's time to make things clear. Is T'Challa richer than Tony Stark or not? Uh, I don't, it's not even close. <laughs> like, you know, to, to use the coming to America um, quote, when I say he's got his own money, I mean he's got his own money. Like, <laughs> you know, That's I, got, I, have, I have my own money as opposed to having a lot of money. Okay, then, who's the stronger, both in the suit? Hmm? Who the str who's the stronger, both in using the suit? The Black Ooh. Panther suit and the Iron Man suit, I mean. Uh, Iron Man doesn't have supernatural powers outside of the suit. Exactly. Black Panther has supernatural powers outside of the suit, and then uh, in addition to the suit, he has power. So you have to answer that for yourself. That's a good answer, yeah. <laughs> Um, tell me about your accent, the accent you create, I think, it's Civil War, just to develop the character, the reference you take. Uh, um, the accent for me was one that, uh, you know, I, I felt like I listened to various different accents throughout the continent. Um, I ended up uh, with a, a South African uh, dialect. 
um, because I felt like it allowed me to play uh, the protagonist a certain way, to, to speak softly, carry a big stick, um, that he didn't have to necessarily speak loud to show his power. Um, there, there could be some sensitivity there, um, melody in, inside the language. I found a, a dialect coach in South Africa named Adile Nebulon, um, and also with, with you know Marvel's in-house um, uh, dialect coach Beth for this as well. And I just tried to do it as much as I could. You know, I spoke in, in his accent more than I spoke in my own voice um, on most days, and actually literally every day. Um, you know, it's rare that my family and friends would talk to me during that time period and hear my voice. People actually would be like, I forgot what you sounded like. So that's that's what I did for the movie.